Chapter 637 Blood Soul Worm As Li Kai made it back to his room, the monarch followed right behind him and busily apologized. Young noble, this was all because of my negligence and not personally escorting young noble. Rest assured, I guarantee that these people from the Light Clan will never appear in front of you again. After hearing Bei Wang's report, the monarch thought that Li Kai was taking his displeasure out on others. Li Kai said dismissively, Such a trivial thing is not worthy of my attention. I pay no mind to insignificant characters like that. So Demon Monarch doesn't have to worry either. Moreover, in the future, the Lai Clan will not dare to appear before me. The monarch was taken aback since he didn't know what Li Kai was implying. While the monarch was dazed, Li Kai continued on, Do not worry, Demon Monarch, I will go meet your royal lord tomorrow as I am not free right now. The monarch calmed down and said goodbye to Li Kai. He didn't dare to say anything else that could bother him. After the monarch left, Li Kai took out the pentagate to seal the room again and also took out the alchemy fowl from the golem square. The chicken emitted a bright light along with permeating medicinal fragrance. This was indeed a supreme bird. The seal on the chicken's body remained closed as Li Kai put it on the table for a careful look. Back at the golem square, Li Kai had taken a look, but now he wanted confirmation. He stared at its eyes then made a decision and took out the myriad heavenly cauldron. Boom. It landed next to Li Kai and, with a wave of his hand, a flame fell to his palm. The flame slowly condensed into a knife resembling a mysterious piece of ice that emitted the thick aroma of medicine. Others would be dumbfounded by this scene. Controlling a flame to turn it into a blade was already difficult, but controlling a flame to turn it into ice was even harder. Li Kai pushed the chicken down and intended to dissect its stomach. Little thing, let me see what you have swallowed. The alchemy fowl struggled in fear, but it couldn't escape. Li Kai calmed it down. Don't worry, my ice flame blade contains the essence of an alchemy trove, so even when I cut open your stomach, the wound will recover right away and it won't hurt you, even if you don't want me to do it. The thing inside your stomach will make its way out anyway. The alchemy fowl was no ordinary bird and was fully sentient. So it calmed down after hearing Li Kai. He slowly dissected the bird's stomach with his icy blade. He was as smooth as flowing water. Not even a tiny mistake was made. Li Kai was a master with no peers at dissection. He found something that resembled a jade block the size of a finger. It was a bit like a seed. Li Kai took it out from the chicken's stomach and said, Little thing, you were too greedy. You wanted to keep a treasure like this all to yourself. Bluff. Suddenly, a spurt of blood shot out from the seed. Its velocity was matchless and was even faster than the speed of light as it shot towards Li Kai, launching for his heart. However, Li Kai was prepared from early on and had the lamp in his other hand. The lamp released a black flame that instantly swept over the spurt of blood. This bloody strand kept on morphing. At times, it resembled countless tentacles as thin as hairs. Other times, it looked like a ferocious face. Yet afterward, it also undertook the shape of a holy existence. This thing that resembled a drop of blood could take on many creepy transformations. This was indeed a terrible monster. The drop of blood was afraid of the black flame and no longer dared to approach Li Kai. It hovered in the air as it tested the flame with a thin tentacle. The moment this tentacle got close to the black flame, a sizzling sound appeared as it was burnt to a crisp. Li Kai ignored the thing trapped by the black flame and held the seed from the chicken's stomach for a closer inspection. It was a finger-sized piece of black jade in the shape of a seed. Li Kai looked at it closely then glanced at the alchemy fowl and said, You were very lucky to meet such a divine item. However, you were too greedy and instantly swallowed it without any consideration. Did you want to become an immortal phoenix in one fell swoop? A divine item such as this cannot be hogged by you alone. Even the blood soul worm coveted it, but it was smarter than you. It only latched onto the item and waited for an amazing bird like you to swallow it. The alchemy fowl relaxed after seeing the blood-like creature interrupted by Li Kai, but it had an unwilling expression upon seeing the black jade in Li Kai's hand. Li Kai smiled and shook his head. You are lucky to have met me. Otherwise, sooner or later, you would have been sucked dry by the blood soul worm. It would eventually break out of your stomach and seize this divine item for itself. The chicken was full of regret, but it couldn't do anything at this moment. Li Kai noticed the unwillingness in its eyes and only smiled before speaking. Don't worry, you can follow me. I will not mistreat you. You should know that a master like me will only appear once across the eons. Li Kai put away the black jade then flicked his hand as the cauldron shot out an ointment needle with a thread of medicine on its end. One shouldn't underestimate this needle. It is the transformed medicinal trove within the myriad heavenly cauldron and could instantly close a wound. Li Kai stitched up the chicken, and the wound closed as if nothing had happened. He then unsealed the chicken, causing it to cry out at his newfound freedom. The chicken stared at the drop of blood that was trapped in the black flame and wanted to pounce over to kill it. However, it was stopped by Li Kai as he spoke. I still have uses for the blood soul worm. He took out a box that contained a black seed full of thorns. This was the seed of the evil Taifa tree. It had been refined by Li Kai for a very long time now, so its appearance had greatly changed. Li Kai looked at the drop of blood trapped by the black flame. This was not a blood drop, it was a very evil and terrorizing poisonous creature called a blood soul worm. It was just as rare as the alchemy fowl, and the two creatures were eternal enemies. When both creatures went all out, it would be hard to determine the victor. Li Kai waved his sleeve once more as a group of flames from the cauldron fell into his hand. In an instant, this group of flames immediately turned into immemorial icicles. These icicles started to pin down the blood soul worm trapped inside the flame. The worm tried to wiggle around but it couldn't move at all due to being pinned by the icicles. Li Kai then placed the worm on top of the evil Taifa seed as all the thorns on the seed latched onto the worm. The worm struggled, but it was meaningless. With that, Li Kai recalled his icicles. How could it just sit there and wait its death? The moment the worm was freed, it recklessly crawled into the seed of the evil Taifa tree, wanting to devour it. However, the evil Taifa seed didn't back down. It timed its thorns and tried to swallow the worm as well. 
At this time, Li Kai inserted a universal law as thin as silk into the evil Taifa seed, giving birth to a maelstrom inside. This boundless magical rune was the culmination of Li Kai's refinement, and it turned into a maelstrom. With this refinement, the blood soul worm and the evil Taifa seed slowly became one. After a while, the transmutation of the two was finalized. The evil Taifa seed was no longer black. It was of a crimson color just like blood. Excellent. I had thought over this method for a long time now but hadn't met a suitable evil creature. Li Kai looked at the seed in his hand and murmured, I will create the strongest plant in this world. There was no further need to describe the strength of the evil Taifa tree, and the blood soul worm was also a frighteningly powerful evil creature. The amalgamation of these two existences would become a wicked and mighty being beyond one's imagination. He put the evil Typha seed back into the box and sealed it. There would be a day when he would need this powerful existence. Afterward, he took out the black jade item again for another look. Good stuff. Not too many people have seen this thing since the start of time, in the eyes of others. Li Kai was crazy for spending 200 immortal emperor refined jades to buy an alchemy fowl. Only a madman would do so. However, Li Kai was far from insane because he noticed that there was something strange about the alchemy fowl. It was not listless because of being sealed. It was because its body had a certain something inside. It swallowed a divine item, but who would have thought that its enemy had been slumbering within? The blood soul worm and the divine item both creeped inside the chicken's body. The worm was a very evil creature. Once it latched onto an existence, that existence's longevity blood would be sucked dry until the worm got its fill. It would then break out of the corpse and come out. Very few people were capable of subduing such a sinister creature, because the chicken swallowed the worm and its strength was sapped by the worm. The three virtuous paragons were able to capture it. Li Kai had rich experience and had seen countless things. After a single glance, Li Kai immediately knew that the chicken had a blood soul worm in its body.